Welcome, G. Today we're doing a meditation inspired by the star. I am a luxury fantasy jeweler and my link is in my bio. Give me some likes and shares. I support my family of six with my small jewelry business and I've had a spiritual awakening. And now I'm sharing my, thanks for the invitation. I'm sharing my own spiritual healing and nervous system regulation, all the things. And I have a star card collection releasing on this Wednesday. So go to my website to join my fellowship and get on my list to get notified of all the things. So let's start the meditation. So this meditation is for finding your true North Star, clearing away all the limiting beliefs, conditioning, so that you can get in touch with yourself again, like when you were a kid, and like how you already are. You are the brightest star, and we're going to get in touch with you. You're going to get back in touch with you. So we're going to do three deep breaths. Breathe in for one, two, three, four five and out for one two three four five six seven eight thanks for joining we're doing a star card meditation and I am a luxury fantasy jeweler with a star collection launching this Wednesday, tarot and star pieces. Thanks for all the love. So picture your soul as a star in the center of you. And every time you breathe in, the light of your star is getting brighter. And we're also going to thank our ancestors and our guides and the universe and ourselves for taking this moment get in touch with our star. As we heal ourselves, we heal the world. And as your star's brightness is emanating, it's cracking through the conditioning and limiting beliefs, things you were told and taught about yourself, they're just flaking off. As you breathe in, your light is getting brighter. And as you breathe out, all those flakes are just flying off. You're cracking that outer shell. And please tap that screen and share so we can help others get in touch with their true north star. So every breath that star is getting brighter and as you breathe out the flakes are blowing away. And then we drop our star. <laughs> 
as in life, sometimes we do. And it falls onto the beach where we're standing. And the waves are covering up our star and we can't see it. As sometimes happens in life, we get overwhelmed by our emotions, we get triggered, and we can't see our star anymore. We maybe behave in ways that are not aligned with our true selves. And so we need to clear out those emotions and get back in touch with ourselves. So we're going to pour out all those emotions, all the material concerns. So our fears about money, our fears about things, things we've lost, things we're trying to find, any tangible items. We're just pouring all that concern out. And now we can see our star a little better in the water on the beach as we've poured out some. Thanks for joining. Remember to tap the screen. Thank you very much for the support. And now we're going to do our other side. So you can see in the... So she's pouring it onto the ground as her material. And this is the subconscious, though I switched it in the meditation. <laughs> So now we're pouring out our subconscious concerns, our worries, our psyche, limiting abilities that we perceive in ourselves, all of our subconscious dreams. daily stress, just pour it all out. And you can feel that energy and as it, as we pour out, our star is becoming more and more visible until all the water is gone, all of those emotions that overwhelmed us and were drowning our star, our star can now rise up and glow and we can see it in the sky again, in our sky inside of us. And now we know that we can look to it anytime and be guided by it all day long. And if it falls, we can remember to pour out. And if someone knocks our star, we can remember that we can pour out our concern for them, for their star, for their water. They have their own star, they have their own water. And we can pour all of that out because we, I do not receive that which does not serve me. So if someone knocks my star, then I pour out any judgment I may feel or think, my own worries and limiting beliefs about them and about myself and my relationship to them. They have their own water, they have their own star to tend to. I just pour out all that water, all those emotions that may overtake me and I might 
do something, react in a triggered state that is not aligned with my star because my star has fallen. My responsibility is to clear out, to feel those emotions and let them move through me. I'll do some emotional regulation work another day. Right now we're just clearing out all those concerns so we can see our North Star again and it can go back in our sky. And then, you know, we can protect ourselves, we can protect our star. I'm just feeling some tension in my shoulder. Sometimes when you do these things, you might feel like a shift. My left shoulder often gets a bit stuck and I can feel it shifting a little bit right now. <sighs> so now our North Star is back in our sky. You can feel it and you can be guided by it anytime. So top of the screen, thank you for the love. Check out my website and my bio. I am a luxury fantasy jeweler. I help extraordinary, extra yet far from ordinary nerds find their dream fantasy jewelry. And I also believe in healing ourselves so that we can heal the world. So my new collection is out this Wednesday. Join my fellowship on my email list to get notified and a meditation like this one and affirmations comes with every piece in the collection. This is a little preview of one of the pieces and I also designed a tarot necklace that has my own version of the star card. On the front she is pouring out her subconscious and her conscious and her children are there copying her because she is modeling this ability, this routine of pouring out her concerns and worries regularly, like teaching your kids to floss. She is modeling it so that they can learn it. They have their own water. And then on the reverse side of the necklace, she is on her knees pouring out her concerns and she's not standing in her power, she's not conscious, and her children are receiving the water that she's trying to pour out, that she's trying to release, and they're receiving it, which is a metaphor for passing down our traumas, passing down our limiting beliefs, rather than clearing them in our own time. So that is the message of the star for me and what I'm doing in my art life right now. So please tap the screen and share to support my artist journey. Thank you for joining me. And thank you everyone for joining.